Hey, welcome back. I think I'm going to do a little tour of you. Uh, just spent the morning looking at global finance and money supply, fiat currencies. Seems to be quite topical at the moment, but um, yeah, years ago it interested me and it's kind of just caught my attention again recently. But uh, there's only so far that you can go with that sort of thing without it starting to get the old black dog into effect again so i've retired to the sanctity of the workshop for a simpler life and today we're going to have a look at the armag wood armag 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 wood beaver uh, the nail proof version um so here we go my first impression when i was using it was that it's actually a really effective way of drilling a hole in a softwood joist much more so than a flat wood bit or anything like that um it's quite it's quite aggressive so you're going to need a fairly decent powered either cordless drill or impact driver to to use it apparently it's fine to use with impact drivers and that was pretty much what i was using i was using this one um, which you can see has got quite a stubby body on itself so once you, you put the uh, drill bit in there I get my hands around it Yeah, you can see that, that that's going to allow you to get in between floor and ceiling joists really easily. So I'd recommend a stubby version if you are going to buy one. Um, the real test of it, I guess, comes when you hit something in the joist which is metal. And in the first instance, I did uh, I hit something. I don't even know what it was, whether it was a nail or a screw or, or whatever. I, I suppose the important part about that is that this is you know, nail proof. They're calling it you know, nail proof. Um, yeah, there's an old expression, isn't there? You know, hard as nails. And in reality, as far as steel goes, <laughs> nails are not particularly hard at all. They, I don't, I think they're just kind of mild steel in the main part. I, I don't know. You. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, there are exceptions to that, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, screws, on the other hand, are hardened, um, I think. And again, I might be wrong about this. Uh, I think the case hardened, um, so that it's mainly the out outer part of the screw which is hard. But um, the reason for that is if they weren't and you went to screw it into anything like a substantial piece of timber, it would just kind of curl up like a piece of string and just wouldn't work so yeah uh, although this may be nail proof i don't think it is ever the intention to be screw proof um that said i did hit something um if i can see the part first time there we go would you just uh, a, that little chip there I hit something metal and pretty much kind of carried on thinking that I completely ruined it, but it seemed all right. And at the time, there was no, there wasn't any other wear on it apart from just a little chip off of one of these lobes. And um, I have no idea what I hit. But anyway, carried on working fine. So that was good. Uh, later on, I hit something a little bit more substantial, or certainly maybe hit in the middle of something more substantial. And when I took the drill bit out, this fell out which looked immediately just like part of a galvanized nail and I thought well yeah that's but what interested me about it was that it's that kind of where it's fractured that granular this reminds me of a masonry nail looking at it um I what I don't have is a set of those files with different hardnesses but this is a fairly decent quality um yeah, just a smooth file, um, and you can hear it. It's just skating off. It's not really touching that. So this is some sort of hardened nail, probably a masonry nail, and I don't think that's kind of a fair, <laughs> a fair challenge for it. Um, by comparison, if I just take a, a, it's what we call a clout nail in the UK. It's just like a galvanised nail. Um, so once you get through the the zinc coating on it the steel itself is relatively soft you can hear that cutting in and then when you look at it um yeah you know you can see you can you can cut into that 
So for if you come up against that sort of thing, I think this would be fine. I think it will do what it says. Um, I, I'm not so sure if it hit screws or hit hit. You know, I mean, I think it's unusual to find a masonry now on a piece of wood, but there you go. I, I think it's going to take more of a toll on it. But that said, you know, I thought I'd absolutely destroyed this, and looking at it, yeah, you can see those the glints of light where it has taken the edge off. Um, but I still managed to get to the end of the day with it. You know, it wasn't cutting anything like it was, but. It, and I don't know, I might even have a go at resharpening that. Um, they're about £13 where this 20mm version is in the UK. So £13 pounds, you know, do your own conversions on that. Interesting thing to note from this, it's made of high speed steel. Um, my understanding of high speed steel was that it's had certain um, sort of alloy elements that added to it. And typically you see it in things like this, kind of like a twist drill and this. this gold looking bit that's a titanium nitride coating is just a bit of a gimmick really but anyway that's not the point um i think the idea behind high speed stills were that before them you just had carbon stills high carbon stills and they'd be hardened and then tempered back so it, it was a, like a, a nice mid grain between something that was so hard it was shatter but it, then it had a bit of toughness as well so um but the problem with that was when you're using a twist drill like this and drilling into steel or you know metals in general um it gets pretty hot and it starts to get up to the same sort of temperatures that you would be at when you were tempering the steel back um, when it was initially made and that means that it loses its hardness and you just uh, you, know, you lose the edge off it um so they they started adding things like chrome vanadium tungsten there's there's various different grades uh it, it just means that you can you can run it hot and it won't take the edge off it won't become soft um with this i you i just don't see that it's designed for drilling wood i i, I don't know whether that's going to be uh you're not going to get up to those sort of temperatures with it um having said that that there may well be other elements of high speed steel that that give it better edge or attention even at low temperatures um which is why they've used it yeah but yeah don't know final thoughts on it i think it very much depends on what you expect out of it i don't it's not going to cope with hitting modern screws um but then i haven't found a drill bit of any sort that really does um i i think i I definitely recommend if I was going to buy it again, I'd, I'd get this again a nail proof version, a non nail proof version. I think as soon as you hit anything, it's just going to completely ruin it. And um, kind of not astronomically priced and <laughs> really, really effective out of the box at doing what it says. So, thumbs up. Um, until the next time. Thank you.